What's up, guys? It's Brian from Ashra Hub. It's about 9.37 a.m. January 30th, 2018. We're coming to you with a brand new trading video. This one's going to be on Bitcoin and Bitcoin only. But first, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, upvote, re-steam. If you guys are on, um, on uh, Steam It, uh, would be greatly appreciated. And or DTube, if you can go ahead and do that. Links are down below to both of those, uh, to both of those platforms. Uh, if you're not on it, definitely should be on it. And if you are, I would love it if you guys could uh, could follow us there. So um, yeah, let's get uh, let's let's get right into it here. Uh, Bitcoin seems to be falling falling off here uh, uh, a bit. Uh, nothing really too drastic by any means, but it is fa falling off. I want to go over a little bit of the price action um that happens kind of over over the, about the past day uh, let's do this on a one hour basis and okay so people ask me all the time why do you draw all of these lines and i've gotten a lot of i've got a lot of heat over it uh, i probably have lost some subscribers over it too but um it's what makes sense and i, th I feel that people that aren't drawing their own Aren't drawing their own charts, charts, or, or aren't trying hard enough with drawing their own charts, are not keeping a lot of these lines up, or or creating a lot of these lines. You have to do it. I've I have really found no other way around it unless you just have a, you know, a a, a picture, uh, you know, a perfect memory. So let's look right here. Okay, so the market came up to this level here. This red line doesn't mean anything. This red line is actually this A, B, C, D, E right here. And same thing with this red line here. So, uh, but you could see the market came up to this yellow line. Okay, um, I don't think we had this yellow line drawn until right here. But, but anyways, we did have the blue line drawn. Okay, this solid blue line. So the solid blue line had told us, well, this is something to watch to see if it's going to break through, right? Otherwise, otherwise you don't know where you are in space. It just, it just doesn't, you know, there's, you have to like plot out a course. Um, so it ran up here. We knew that there was other, this other resistance line right here at the 12, approximately at the 12,000 uh, uh, level. And then the market started coming back down again, right? Um, again, this this line right here, this red line right here, is just is just part of that A B C D E. But the market came back down, and look, the blue line, right? Again, the market tried to stay up above the blue line, and then notice another thing: the market kept trying to get above this blue line. Right, kept trying to get up, up, above till so finally there was a large down uh, candle right here, which basically put that to rest. Right, and then we have now a large uh, down candle, um, and the market's trying to rally back up again. So we have this dash blue line, which possibly could be another resistance level. So what do I think about what's going on here right now? Do I think this is a lower, you know, going to be a lower low or a newer trend? It's very difficult to say. You can't basically make your projections on a single candle or two candles here. Uh, I would not be surprised, though, if this, if the market comes down here and then it chooses back to come back up to this E level. Okay. At the same time, I would not be surprised if this right here, right here, A, B, and then C, is not an, not an A, B, C uh, correction coming down. If that's the case, this here has to be five waves. And if it's five waves, if it's five waves, then this could bring us back down to these levels right here. There are some other resistance points uh, that we could bring up, but we don't really know just yet exactly what's going to be going on. So <clears throat> I did draw another resistance right here, and this is comes comes from Fibonacci actually. 
This is the 61.8% retracement level. And it happens to land right on top here. It actually acted as support right here. So resistance became support and the market ran. I don't know why I feel like this may come into play in the future, this level. It just seems to make sense. Now, this could be a, an ABC correction, which could come back down to this level down here, or it could stop somewhere in between, maybe at these lows right here, maybe at uh, 9,200, and then it could try to come back up again and uh, you know, kind of hit, hit, uh, hit this larger D right here. So, you know, again, we also have another wedge that I think most people in the market are talking about. I don't particularly like it. I was never really fond of it, but I did have it here because you know, it did have some, some credence to it. And it's this, it's this dashed one right here. Okay, this dashed, uh, line that's creating this wedge. Now, you can make the argument that possibly that this just kind of ran out here and then this is going to come back down, okay? And that possibly this may be like a one, two, and then we're going to have a three, four, and a five all the way up. That's possibly one direction. I think that's very low likelihood, but I'm just mentioning it because there are a lot, lots of different possibilities that may, um, that may show their heads. So we're gonna leave it right there for right now. Um, and uh, yeah, there's not really much more to really say about what's going on here until we get a little bit more, a little bit more information. Um, oh, yes, there is one thing I forgot to say. So this line right here, which is the bottom of the triangle, okay, and then we have this top of, a, of the triangle here of the same color, okay, the, you can also make the, the argument that this is a bearish flag, okay, it looks like a great bearish flag, there are bearish flags all over the place that actually held true most of the time, so this could be a larger one, if this is a larger one, then you know size usually dictates that it's then gonna come it's then gonna come down. Um, another thing I want to mention. Sorry, I almost ended the video. Now I'm mentioning all these other things. <laughs> another thing I want to mention is this happened on pretty high volume. So again, this goes ahead and tells me that we have a fair amount of sellers still left. So look at this volume right here. Okay, we have this volume here. We have a similar volume here. This is two two candles of that volume. We have this volume here again, right? So there's still a lot of sellers. I mean, people can get spooked really quickly. So it's not really what we want to see. We want to see the volume coming down really low. So uh, yes, now I'm going to end the video um, with the last statement of just saying that QQE here has also crossed over. This is on a one hour basis. Okay, there's also a four hour basis right here okay right here for our basis it's crossed over as per right here so this is also shows some bearish sentiment so with that said now we're gonna end the video <laughs> especially since um, with the noise in the background probably makes you think that I'm sitting in a, in a dentist chair as some people has, have mentioned so um, yeah let us know if you have any questions and uh, happy trading